Hello everybody, welcome to Take It Easy. The Sony WIC400 is the neckband style Bluetooth set of earphones with microphone and inline controls. There are a lots of earphones out there that are similar, so is it any better? Is it worth it? Let's find out. In this channel, you get videos of real unboxing, review and honest opinion about different hardwares, gadgets, accessories and softwares. If you are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing, it's free. If you end up liking this video, hit the like button and boost my motivation. This is the box packaging of the Sony WIC400 and as you can see, it looks really nice. There are some specifications mentioned at the backside and the MRP mentioned is 399 rupees which is almost 58 US dollars but sometimes the price comes down to as low as 3000 rupees which is almost 43 US dollars as of now. Now let's cut the plastic wrap open and let's open the box. We get a cardboard box inside the main box, inside we get two packets and now let's open the first packet which is transparent and we can already see the contents inside. So we have some documentations, manuals and a decent quality USB to micro USB cable and some good quality extra ear tips in matching color and in different sizes, large, medium and small. Inside the other packet, we have the Sony WIC400 in black color. In fact, the main body is grey and the earphone cables and the earphones themselves are black. Everything seems to be of good quality, now let's check it out in details. While it is turned off, you need to press and hold the power button for 2 seconds and it will turn on and if you keep the button pressed for 7 seconds, it will enter pairing mode. You can pair using Bluetooth, the Sony WIC400 has NFC, so if your phone has NFC, you can pair it very easily with your phone. Bluetooth headphones or earphones give us the freedom of living without wires. It is not a true wireless pair of earphones like Apple AirPods or Samsung Gear Icon X, etc. It still has wire that connects the earphones with each other and the onboard electronics but this neckband form factor has its advantages over the other style of headphones which I will tell you. You can connect to your smartphone or laptop and you are not limited to the cable length. So you can be up to 10 meters away from your phone and still listen to your favorite music. While playing music or videos, the buttons work as expected. Volume can be increased or decreased during playback or calling someone with the plus and the minus button. The play pause button plays or pauses the music or video. If you long press the plus button, you can go next and then you can go previous by long pressing the minus button. Again, you can trigger your phone's virtual assistant by long pressing the play pause button. Because of its neckband form factor, it is virtually impossible to lose the WIC400. It hangs around your neck and you can just forget about it and it is not going to fall off. On the other hand, you might lose your true wireless earphones if you are not careful enough. Also, those tiny true wireless earphones usually do not contain large batteries and as a result, the battery life is generally not very good in those. To get a good battery life, you have to always put them in their case. But being a neckband, the WIC400 sports a much larger battery 
and performs excellent in terms of battery life. And we will discuss more about battery life later. Talking about over-the-ear Bluetooth headphones, they might be uncomfortable to many of us while wearing them for longer durations. It is also not very practical to use them for calling if you get a lot of calls. The Sony WIC400 is very comfortable during longer sessions and it is very much practical to use for calling. I really like to use it for calling because it lets you hear the ambient sound or the background sound while calling. It is like talking without any earphones at all. You can literally hear your surroundings. The microphone picks up the ambient sound and passes it on the earphones. That might help while you are walking or riding a bike on road while talking to someone over a call. So there will be less chance of an accident. Another good thing is that it vibrates when you are getting a call. You can press the play pause button to receive or disconnect a call. This set of Bluetooth earphones is made of good quality plastic. The build quality is not excellent but it is definitely good. It is available in 4 colors, grey, white, blue and red. It looks like the earphone cables are made of some special kind of plastic which is not sticky at all like those cheap earphone cables and it has a parallel pattern or texture that you can feel by touch. The neck band is quite flexible and the WIC400 feels lightweight. There are dual stoppers on both earphone cables to adjust the cable length and to prevent the user from pulling the cable too hard accidentally. Sony is known for their great audio quality and the same is applicable for the WIC400. The overall sound quality is very good but definitely not the best Sony can do. The sound profile is mostly balanced but the low ends or the bass is a little bit higher sometimes which some people actually like. It performed very good in calling as well, however at first the voice was breaking or stuttering during calls and that might be an issue with my phone but as per my testing when I was out of an Wi-Fi zone the problem wasn't there at all. So I did a little bit of searching and found out that Bluetooth works at frequencies between 2.4 and 2.48 GHz which is almost the same as our widely used home Wi-Fi which also works at 2.4 GHz. Then I switched to 5 GHz Wi-Fi because my phone and my Wi-Fi router both support 5 GHz Wi-Fi and then the problem vanished for the most part. But I have no idea why it happens only during calls and not during normal music playback. And keep in mind that this problem regarding interference between 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth can happen with other Bluetooth devices as well. You can expect incredible battery life on a full charge. According to Sony's claims, it takes nearly 4.5 hours for a full charge and it provides almost 20 hours of playback time which I believe is the best in this price segment. According to my testing, Sony's claims about the charging time and the battery life matches in the real life for the most part. To talk about the pros, it has excellent battery life decent build quality, good sound quality, and it has NFC. The neck band is quite flexible and the overall unit is pretty much lightweight. Let's talk about the cons now. It doesn't have any IP ratings in terms of water resistance or sweat resistance, so keep it above your clothing while you are wearing them. The earbuds are not magnetic which definitely Sony should have provided. Lastly, it takes a while to charge up completely, 4.5 hours to be exact. And there is no fast charging option available. So if you liked the video, show your support, hit the thumbs up button, share the video to help me for growing this community.
It takes a lot of hard work, time and patience to make videos like this. So I would really appreciate any support from your end. If you have any queries or suggestions, just post it in the comment section below. And most importantly, if you are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing, it's free. Hit the red subscribe button down there or the round channel icon on the screen to subscribe to take it easy. Also hit the bell icon to stay notified for the future videos. So guys, that's it for this video. Have a great time and I will see you in the next video.